Josie. So I have never successfully gotten back with an ex, but I would have if I'd watched this video and known all of this advice. So the number one thing is to communicate. Just like communicate, communicate, communicate. You probably wouldn't even be in a situation where you were trying to get back together with your ex if you had been communicating really well all along. From walking home and talking low. So I know if you're watching this video, you probably already went through the breakup, but a really important thing to do is when you are breaking up, to never say black and white things like, I never want to get back together, you need to move on, we will never have a relationship again. There's always like the, it's not you, it's me. And yeah, it is you in the sense that you are being affected by them. And so that's why you wanna leave, but they're causing that. Like they're a part of the me too. It's really difficult and really vulnerable to talk to another person and tell them exactly what they're doing to hurt you. But I think that in a relationship, and even if the relationship is permanently over, it's in the other person's best interest to be more self-aware. It is so incredibly difficult for everyone to know how they're coming across. No one can have an objective outside perspective on how other people are feeling because of them. And so you need to just like tell them. I know you're saying you don't want to hurt me. Well, maybe you should show a little mercy. So if you feel like it was really impulsive out of nowhere, like you were being emotionally blinded by something going on, then right then, reach out to the person, tell them you made a mistake. What I realized though, is that even if it does seem impulsive, there could be a ton of underlying reasons why you got there. So do a lot of introspection, do some journaling, and figure out everything feeding into that. If there are legitimate emotional problems, communication problems, you were crying sometimes during the relationship, fighting, if there are like consistent things going wrong, then you need to in depth discuss that together. This can be when you're breaking up, after you're breaking up, you can think through this on your own, talk to a mutual friend, talk to your best friend, figure out exactly what went wrong and why. I feel like the best thing though is to reach out and to say you want to process things, understand things. I recommend writing everything down or after you talk, jotting some things down so you can look back at it, think about it. Something else to do really early on. So be completely honest about cheating, rebounding, lying, anything that had happened during the relationship or right after the relationship that they might find out about later. It's really good to bring it up like as soon as possible so that it becomes less and less and less of a problem moving forward. You need to bring everything out into the open, be really, really, really honest, open with them. When you are breaking up or during a conversation after, when you would get back together if you did. And then hold the other person to it. If you want to take a hiatus on ever talking to each other, being friends for a certain period of time, discuss that, how long that needs to be. If you say like, yeah, after a month, I wanna be friends again, then reach out to them after that month. I feel like in a lot of relationships, friendships, both people are waiting on the other person to reach out, and so be that person. I've been trying to perfect. And so if it was really complicated, like there were a ton of like embedded intricacies, problems that during the relationship you never discussed, then you might need to take a break for like months until both of you can grow and figure out how to have that not happen again. A lot of times just understanding things intellectually, that's not gonna make you change. You might be tempted to immediately get back together just because you miss the other person. You have that like chemistry, like that emotional attachment. But some Sometimes you just need to not even like take a break, but like break up, kind of leaving it open, tentative, maybe in the future. And that can be scary if you really, really want to be with them and you think maybe they'll find someone else. But if you know it would just continue to be unhealthy, then you need to do what's best for both of you and let it go. And if you're really right for each other and so drawn to each other, then you shouldn't be scared of them falling for someone else and like permanently losing them. I 
I know this is cliche, but I think involving mutual friends can be really helpful, but not in a direct controlling way, like going to their best friend and being like, okay, like, can you give this message to my ex? Like, no, you should be talking to your ex directly. And if they don't want to talk to you directly, then don't try to like manipulate it by talking to their friend. What you can do though, is to ask their friend questions about what's going on, how they're feeling. Their friend might not disclose any information at all, but always go for asking questions. I have some friends who are very like interventionist, wanting to work through problems and mediate. If you have a friend like that, you can even tell them like, hey, I really wanna get back together with Charles. <laughs> not right now, but maybe in the future. So just like, let me know what he's thinking. A lot of times we see it as we want to be the one who kind of like wins at the breakup by getting over it really fast. But if you want to get back together, then be super honest with all your friends, all your mutual friends about how much you're hurting, how much you're not over it, and how much you miss your ex. And you can tell your friends what to say if your ex asks them about how you're doing. I feel like friends automatically, they want to kind of vouch for you, say like, oh yeah, like she's doing great. But if you want to get back together, if you want to leave that as an open option, then tell your friends to just be honest about how much you're hurting, crying, not over it. It's really crazy because you can pass your ex, you can be walking around seeing them and they might seem completely fine even though they're thinking about you all the time, really hurting, crying. You'll never see that from the outside and it's the same with your friends. Like they do not know how you're doing unless you tell them. I've got a world of chances. Something else is to not cut them off completely from your life. Initially, it's a good idea to not see them all the time. Maybe you should never talk at all because it's fresh and you need to heal. And so you both need to emotionally get away from that, process some things individually, but don't do that forever. You probably have mutual friends, groups you hang out in. And so go to events like that. Be willing to see them sometimes, to have small talk conversations. Don't delete them from all your social media or block them. Stay Facebook friends and just turn off notifications so that their stuff doesn't show up on your timeline. If you do delete them, block them, then re-add them, unblock them when a couple months has gone by. Maybe you call me someday. But the biggest thing is that you need to admit to yourself what you did wrong, how you hurt them, what mistakes you made, how you need to change. Once enough time has gone by for you both to individually grow, Write them a letter and message to them exactly what you want, how you think you've changed, kind of like give an argument for why you think it would be healthy, like make a case for why right now like enough time has gone by, you've changed enough to where you can have a healthy relationship now. And if you talked before about problems in the relationship, then bring those up again, maybe explain how you understand them even more, and then how you've changed, how you're gonna go about things better to not make the same mistakes. We think a lot about wanting to get back together with someone, but it's more important how you get back together with them. And be honest with yourself too, maybe you're really not compatible, it's good that you broke up. Infatuation is honestly like a drug affecting your brain, and so there's a lot of emotional things pulling you to them. And so obviously take your emotions into account, but also think about this rationally, write about it, talk to your friends about it, understand it objectively, facts about it, analyze that, change yourself, grow, make sure the other person has also changed and grown, that they understand. And even if it's been like a year, but you still remember the relationship, think it would be good again, then it's never too late to reach out. Just be honest and communicate. And if you're scared of being hurt, if they reject you, then tell them that. Tell them to be really gentle and careful in their response because you don't want them to hurt you. I feel like we don't give people enough credit. Most people are not going out of their way to intentionally hurt you. And so if you tell your ex what they're doing that is hurting you and how to change, then they will change. With any of your friendships, people initially will get defensive, but if you write it down, give them a chance to think about it, like people want to change. That is all I have to say on this topic. Comment below if you have any more advice for everyone watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. I have everything linked below. I make new videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you ever have video requests, questions, leave them in the comments. I read every single comment on my new videos and I reply to a lot of them as well. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye! If I could only switch with you.